So I've come to realize that there's a new game coming out called Lords of the Fallen. And I've only seen a little bit of it, but from what I have seen, though, it looks actually pretty cool. But uh, let's watch a... Let's watch a trailer. This guy was going just a little over the speed limit. Look at the damage. Oh, yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> Welcome to the Lords of the Fallen Gameplay Showcase. Today, we're taking a closer look at our all new dark fantasy action RPG, arriving this October on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. So, another Souls game? ...successor to the original 2014 release. It acts as a full reboot for the franchise, taking place in a vast, interconnected world over a thousand years later. Featuring colossal boss battles, fast, challenging combat, and deep, immersive storytelling, players will journey across two parallel realms in this expansive RPG experience. The world of the living, Axiom, and the world of the dead, Umbral, with each featuring its own unique pathways, characters, enemies, and, of course, treasures. That kind of looks cool. I'm not gonna lie. Being able to travel between do two different realities. And while Axiom presents its own challenges, untold horrors await and its nightmarish counterpart. Thanks to the Umbral Lamp, players can enter this lightless world at any time in one of two ways. When slain by the foes of Axiom, at which point you'll resurrect in the same location, albeit in Umbral. Or by performing the Umbral Rift and willingly sacrificing one of your two lives. But the lamp holds yet more power, granting the ability to flay the soul from an enemy for some high damage attacks and even manipulate the very environment. That looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'd play it. spend in this wraith-ridden plane the greater number of spectral terrors that will hunt you down but as harrowing as the hellions of umbral are they pale in comparison to the game's brutal boss battles towering above the ever-burning city of kalrath this gargantuan monstrosity doesn't take kindly to would-be adventurers the demonic presence within ready to devour any and all Within sight. A merciless torturer prepared to carry out any atrocity in the name of his faith. Tancred, master of castigations, is the devout chaplain of the hallowed sentinels. Though beneath the pious veil, his very own flesh conceals a truth most foul. Or Durva ventured into the deepest depths of this world to thwart the undead rising. What she discovered was so utterly horrific that she renounced her former life and commitment to a far darker oath. Pre order Lords of the Fallen now and prepare to unleash the darkness on Friday the 13th of October. It looks actually like a pretty solid game. I'm not going to lie. I mean. I get it. <laughs> to me it does kind of seem like another one of those uh, Souls games. But. That's just me. Although it does look pretty smooth. It does look like that. Gameplay. Does look actually pretty good. Like, I would play it. I actually would play that thing. That game. Not gonna lie. But, uh, what do you guys think about it? Let me know down below in the comments. And, uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. Peace.